took 40 years, but I'm finally here. With my family and friends, all the people I hold dear. From London to Australia, Singapore, at least six different states, I can't believe that it's my wedding that brought us together to celebrate. Some of you guys came as far as Thousand Oaks. <laughs> Don't laugh, Australia. The 101 freeway is no joke. <laughs> and here we are. Today is finally my wedding. Woo! Me! Yeah! It's me, the, the guy who traveled the world playing music. My seed I was spreading. <laughs> Planting in gardens, but always wearing a glove. I'd go into a shed, get out my shovel, and I'd shove. Until I came upon a garden in the San Fernando Valley. Little did I know this would be my gardening finale. I met this blonde bombshell with boobs out to here. But these boobs had a brain, it was a new frontier. She was funny, she was smart, she was tough as nails. And to every other woman in my life, I said happy trails. I wanted to share our story, for those of you who don't know, this is how Tara met her modern day Romeo. That's me. I had just bought my home. I didn't have a penny to spare. No cable, no internet. I had a rug and two plastic chairs. So when I met Tara, who lived literally one block down the road, I invited her over to my most humble abode. Not so humble. No. Well, at that time, it was pretty humble. <laughs> She'd lived in the valley for years. She knew the neighborhood well. She'd often even drive right by the house that unknowingly one day she'd dwell. You see, Tara and I were friends on Facebook, but we never actually met. She had no idea how awesome I was, at least, not yet. She recognized the house, she recognized my face, so she figured it couldn't hurt to reach out and simply touch base. She congratulated me on my purchase and welcomed me to the new neighborhood, so I replied with an email asking if she knew of any restaurants that were any good. We decided to meet up just to chat, something brief, she told me about her life, her loves, and she stressed to me that she did not eat meat. <laughs> so we ordered pizza, cheese only, and we sat on some moving boxes and crates. Just two people, two slices, and two smelly dogs. It was her dream fairy tale first date. <laughs> With no electricity or TV, there weren't many distractions, so it was easy for us to explore our immediate attraction. She was tall, thin, and busty. Her beauty was bliss. I wanted that. She wanted this. Yeah. Oh. 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 Wait, wait, wait. It, it was so much more than just the physical thing. We laughed, we cried, we shared everything. From that night on, we rendezvoused every single day. We never got sick of each other. And here we are today. Yeah. Our lives are exciting. They'll never be stagnant, considering that my new bride is now five and a half months pregnant. <laughs> There's not a lot of words that rhyme with pregnant, so. See what I did? Yeah. I proposed in December and we got pregnant quick. What can I say? There's magic in my dick. <laughs> there is. Okay, okay, okay. To, to Tara's parents. To Tara's parents, I, I, I guess it's time to confess. Your daughter and I, we've, we've had the sex. 
and it's good. Babe. Babe, I'm sorry. I love you. Don't divorce me. Babe, I truly can't believe our luck. I have the very best life, which is really no surprise because at the center of it sits my wife. Two dogs, two cats, and soon a beautiful baby boy. Thank you, Tara, for bringing my life so much joy. Although your eating habits are strange, no meat, it's a little depressing, I really don't mind, for I am your salad and you are my dressing. <laughs> to my new family, I apologize. The speech may have come across as brash, but you'll get used to me. I grow like a rash. This is the hard part for me. I do want to recognize those who aren't here, mainly my father, my hero, my reason to persevere. He'd love you so much, babe, and he'd be so incredibly proud. He'd be making a speech tonight, and his speech would be loud. That was his thing. His wit, his charm, and his eloquent tongue. He had a command of the language second to none. He was a giant of a man. He was the storm and the calm. And standing beside him would be the source of his strength, my mom. Yeah. Mom, you're the best. There's literally nothing else I can say. You've had my back and you've been there for me every single day. And as much as I try to be like dad, I think I'm most like you. You're my mentor, my teacher, my doctor, my therapist, my confidant, my closest friend. You are the example, and you're my mommy too. To my sister, oh boy. I don't know where to begin, but you've always been along for the ride as my navigator, and what a ride it's been. So to my family, my friends, my new family and friends too, raise your glasses with this tall, sentimental Jew. It's time for a toast, but I have a unique request. No hear hears, lachayims, or mazel tovs. I want to hear everyone say, fuck yes. But wait! My nephew's under nine. Anyone over 90 and everyone in between on the count of three. One, two, three. 